Hey guys, it is Earthmaster here on this uh, kind of early afternoon, Wednesday, September 8, 2021, about noon here in California. Latest quake on the globe is a 2.6 up here around the uh, Alaska region. Looks like right around the Gulf of Alaska. A little bit of uptick in earthquake activity around the globe uh, following that uh, pretty large 7.4 downgraded to a 7.0 earthquake there in uh, Acapulco, Mexico yesterday. Some movement down south along the Pacific Rim. Let's go ahead and check out the activity that's going on here around the globe. And uh, just going to do a quick update here on the activity. A little bit of movement up here around Yellowstone as well. Kind of take a note of that. We'll get to that here in just a second. Kind of an eerie swarm in an uh, in a unusual location. Let's go ahead and check out the activity up here in Alaska first. Well inland, it looks like, uh, right around the Anchorage area. A little swarm of activity. Go ahead and bring down the all magnitudes. Get a little bit better perspective of what's going on here along the uh, region. A lot of subduction zone quakes, it looks like here. A lot of deep movement. Uh, 68 kilometers or so down dip downstream here in this region of the Pacific and the North American subduction zone here Gulf of Alaska uh, definitely capable of producing some significant quakes uh, The area where we've seen that eight-pointer a while back pretty quiet But uh, today just some movement right around the Anchorage area stretching up kind of up towards the Fairbanks area uh, Fairbanks sits right up here Beautiful area. I want to get back up there again. I was up there a couple winters ago, and uh, it was it was awesome let me tell you, uh, no further movement here in the Pacific Ring of Fire on the northwestern edge, Japan northward, eerily quiet. Uh, this earthquake here, this 4.9 that struck in this little bend area off the coast of Russia occurred last night, but since then we haven't seen any further movement all along the entire uh, rim, uh, the Pacific Rim of Fire here, Ring of Fire I should say, or Rim, however you want to look at it. It's a pretty dangerous area. All quiet right now. Uh, we did see some further movement further to the west into parts of uh, well outside of, well what do we got, Tahikistan region, 5.3 and also some further movement over here around the Mediterranean Sea around Greece at a 5.0 strike in that area uh, quite a few hours ago, late last night, early this morning. And a little earthquake up here in uh, Bosnia region, a uh, 4.3. So moving back to this area of the world, looks like we're kind of on some heightened earthquake activity here along the west coast. Once again, also down here along the, um, just off the coast of Chile, South America region in the Chile Rise area. Seen some, uh, well, a 5.6 and a 4.6 around the Easter Island area. This activity occurring after the uh, uh, good sized earthquake up here in Mexico. Looking at that region, uh, we are seeing aftershock activity, not a whole lot. Uh, and I'm sure there's more than uh, what's being shown here on the USGS map. Following that 7.0 yesterday, pretty good shaker in a very highly populated area. Uh, quite a few, uh, quite a few folks in that region there. 4.9, 4.7, 4.5, and a 4.6 for an aftershock sequence, and some variable depths here. The original 7.0 struck at about 20 kilometers, uh, so it's typical to see some of this uh, variable depth here with these aftershocks. At least we're seeing some aftershocks. That's a good thing. Uh, moving up north into the Texas area, some further movement inland around the Midland area and also a little quake outside of San Antonio or San Antone, however you want to pronounce that. Quite a few folks do it differently. Oklahoma City northward getting in on some probably fracking operations near Stillwater, Tulsa and the Inid area. Also around Quinton over here, uh, a little bit of earthquake activity with the 2.4. New Madrid area looks pretty quiet, little small microquake at around uh, the Georgia region, northern Georgia. West Coast region still seeing some uh, activity down here along the Imperial Fault System. Kind of a somewhat of an ex extensional fault system of the San Andreas Fault. Runs up into the Brawley Seismic Zone, Salton Sea getting a little bit of movement there. But this earthquake down here, 2.5, uh, down in uh, south of the border region. San Jacinto Fault area seen some activity as well. Uh, diminishing quakes throughout uh, the northern part of the state Pacific Northwest relatively quiet as well but we're seeing an uptick in activity into the Idaho and Montana area 
and also a new swarm of activity here in Yellowstone National Park. Let's go ahead and check this out real quick. Refresh the latest map. Here is the earthquake activity from yesterday, that 7.0 that struck down in Mexico, showing up significantly on the majority of the stations. Uh, the earthquake activity that I'm kind of watching, and it's kind of kicking up pretty good, looks as though it's down here around the Pitchstone Plat uh, Plateau area. That looks pretty sketchy. Not for sure what's going on there with the loss of data and the highly um, dynamic earthquake activity there in that region. Uh, it is also showing up down here on a station a little bit further south. This is well-defined earthquake activity, and the sensitivity of this station is what I like to see. It picked up the 7.0 yesterday awesomely. It's not oversensitive and it's not under uh, undersensitive. So it picks up earthquake activity from far away and also local. And this activity here that we're seeing within the last couple hours is local and well-defined. Um, so it's not, I can't really say this activity is showing up on too many stations. It looks as though it definitely is showing up here around the Pitchstone Plateau, uh, Plateau, Plateau, uh, the Yellowstone Caldera region. Southern part is where this activity is kind of kicking up. Um, there is a loss of data on numerous stations around the Yellowstone area, areas northward that I'd like to see, um, but it just, uh, it's not there. So keeping an eye on it, I don't see any thunderstorm activity in that region. Um, we can check out the Zoom Earth model here and see what's going on, wind speeds and whatnot here into the uh, Yellowstone area. There is some wind. I don't see any rainfall within that region at all. Um, way over north, way over to the southeast, way over there. Uh, but far as here, I don't see any thunderstorm activity. Nothing that would um, describe the movement that we're seeing on the Yellowstone graphs there as, as uh, weather related. Wind speeds look uh, light and variable. They're not strong. So kind of keeping an eye on this earthquake activity down to the south area. We'll see if uh, these other stations pick it up. Old Faithful looks like it did pick, pick up some of it. So if this does ring true, we're looking at a potential swarm here in the southern end of Yellowstone National Park, which we haven't really seen all that much, at least from uh, the years that I've been watching uh, Yellowstone activity. There was a little earthquake up here, northwest corner of the park. And then right after that, a loss of data. So I'm not too happy about seeing that. I mean, are, what are we missing here? Are we seeing a, a, an intense swarm kick up? It's just, it's gone. And then it comes back online with no further quake activity. But the activity that's occurring down here to the south, no loss of data, uh, except for that one right there. But uh, definite earthquake activity into uh, parts of Yellowstone. So we will keep an eye on that uh, for sure. Uh, so I'm going to include a few more uh, photos right now, folks, of some uh, viewer sent in images. I am backed up. I am really backed up. So if I haven't got to your photos yet, um, I apologize. I just got overloaded with uh, images. I still got like 100 emails I haven't read yet. So I'm kind of working those in. Uh, I'll be doing those uh, this update and then also for the update evening or the evening update tonight. Uh, this is the escarpment down around the... Uh, the 1872 Lone Pine earthquake, 7.4, uh, estimated around 7.4 earthquake, uh, took place back in 1872, creating this awesome scarp feature. It's kind of like a little raised area out there in the ground, uh, 12 to 20 feet high in certain areas. I did go down there this year, earlier this year. I couldn't get, I could see it, but I just didn't get right up to where Brian got. Uh, Brian E., I appreciate this awesome photo of the escarpment from the uh, 1872 area or 1872 earthquake it's pretty awesome to see um yeah just some tremendous pressure and dy dynamics there uh to create that type of environment from that earthquake back there in uh, 1872. uh what else we got here folks a uh, beautiful image of some clouds in clyde texas donna mckinley sent this in i appreciate you sending this in image in i love clouds awesome uh Awesome feature there. I wish we had some clouds here in California instead of smoke. That would be nice. Uh, what else we got here? Beautiful sunrise uh, from Linda's Rock Garden. 
awesome view. Some uh, looks like some high clouds there in the Florida sky. Beautiful image. Thanks for sending that in. Uh, what else we got here? Jennifer Diana, I appreciate this. This is some awesome colors here at Seal Beach, California. Beautiful. I would love to be on there in that area. Awesome. I mean, I, I love the coast in general, but uh, you captured some awesome colors in that photo. Thank you very much, Jennifer, uh, from uh, for that picture. Beautiful image of Seal Beach, California. See what else we got here. Um, do, 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 do. I know we have one more here. What do we got here? Everyone should know what these are, right? These are these are uh, wish makers. <clears throat> Dave from the UK sent this in. I have these in, grown in my yard in the springtime after it rains. If we ever get rain, the kids absolutely love these things. I've always uh, my my parents passed pass the info along you know to make a wish before you blow the uh the seeds off of this wish maker and uh you know your wish will come true i kind of pass that info along to my friends or not my friends but my kids and uh, my nephew and uh, it's just something cool it, you know it sticks with you in your mind but uh, thank you very much dave for that image i think uh it's an, definitely an awesome image there and a beautiful shot of yellowstone charles lee from Fort Smith, Arkansas, sent in this image of Yellowstone. Forgot to include the Yellowstone uh, location there, but it is Yellowstone. I was up there last year. You captured some awesome beauty there of the uh, the features and the dynamic colors there in Yellowstone National Park. It's uh, not for sure what kind of camera you, you were using there, but uh, awesome image and uh, some colors with that um with that photo there i appreciate that charles so once again if you guys do want to um have a chance for your image to be shown here on an update video here on the earthmaster channel send it in to the earth basically earthmaster mail at gmail.com just one word earthmaster mail at gmail.com and i will get it up onto the uh update onto the channel here make sure you please include your name description um, and location of where the image was taken at and a date if you can. So I am, like I say, I'm backed up. I didn't expect the response I got, but man, I appreciate it, guys. You got some awesome photos. Keep sending them in and we'll get to them eventually. Uh, I'm going to try to do uh, at least a couple videos each day to get caught up on those images. So once again, folks, I appreciate it. EarthmasterMail at gmail.com is the... Uh, is the um, email address if you want to send in your photos that you took that you want the world to see all right folks have a good day we'll be back a little bit later on with an update video uh this evening unless something else happens between now and then have a good day stay safe out there everyone we'll talk, chat you guys a little bit later tonight peace